Some criminals collected huge sums of money to enforce it at home in Southeast and Black Me IPOB. Nam the Kano. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Kano, who gave the warning on Monday when his legal team led by Chief Mike Ozuke Masan visited him in the Department of State Services DSS custody. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Namda Kano, has warned IPOB members and members of public in the southeast zone of Nigeria against enforcement and observing of what he described as unsanctioned heat at home. Kano, who gave the warning on Monday when his legal team, led by Chief Michael Zekomesan, visited him in the Department of State Services, DSS custody in Abuja, so that anyone who obeys or enforces any heat at home, not officially declared by IPOB leadership, must be ready to face their consequences. Kano's warning was disclosed in a statement by his counsel, Ifanyi Jofo, who, while giving updates on the legal team routine visit to the detained indigenous people of Biafra leader, stated that he, Kano, condemned in stronger terms the kidnappings, killing, and attacks going on in the southeastern region of the country. According to Jofo, Kano condemned the destructive activities of some hired marauders who are presently exploiting the temporary absence of Onyendu to cause untold mayhem vandalism and calamity on our sacred ancestral lands were thoroughly discussed. Onion reiterated and emphasized his long-held position of distancing himself and his IPB movement from the illegal and nefarious activities of these God-forsaken elements who may know well for the Indibu and the land of the Igbos. Kano specifically warned that any person who obeys or enforces any unsanctioned seat-at-home instructions which have been declared and imposed by some criminal elements who have been paid huge sums of money by some faceless persons to blackmail and consequently destroy him and his IPOB movement should count him or, sir, him or herself as the number one enemy of Onyendu and our peace-loving people. And consequently, such persons must be aware of a grief and their consequences that lie ahead of them for such criminal acts. Onyendu unequivocally stated that he has not ordered any seat at home in Biafra land. He directs that all people should go about their normal life and businesses without let or hindrance so as not to destroy the socio-economic life of our people which have become the envy of all. The indigenous people of Biafra Dida also specifically directed that in quest for our and persecution of our God-given right to self-determination, our people cannot themselves be seen as those trampling upon the fundamental rights of other people to exercise their own freedom and fundamental rights that our people shall vehemently resist and must not allow any form of criminality to overshadow or becloud the legitimate and internationally sanctioned aspiration for a peaceful nation of their own, devoid of any forms of violence and intimidation. Only in the reiterated that our people should act with the greatest circumspection, particularly now that the international conspiracy and the ongoing blackmail has assumed a new dimension of dangerous proportions being perpetrated and orchestrated by those clearly acting the scripts of their pain masters. These are the evil elements relentlessly dishing out brazen threat, blatant lies, and bare face falsehood to our people. These are the same persons that recruit, control, and command criminal elements who have been imported into our land to kidnap, maim, kill, and commit all sorts of atrocities with a view to justifying government's continued illegal and unconstitutional detention of onion do and thus provide government's much needed alibi platform and simulated justification for the international community to recognize the legal and criminal prescription of the otherwise peace loving IPOB, which is currently on appeal. That it would be foolhardy of our people not to decipher, see through, and recognize the dangerous prevailing international conspiracy to blackmail his peaceful IPOB movement and portray Umu Chineke in bad light as vicious and murderous kidnappers and armed killers, whereas they are not, have never been, and will never be. Those who are behind those um, activities in the southeastern region, this man don't come as I talk to you, and it's if they catch them. In fact, I don't see when he talks to you, they talk with them, but it's if they catch them, they're all gone and I'm not gone as with their name. And I don't know why this issue of this man being kept there, so that he can even come out because I know he's coming out and him giving a statement that, oh, I am out to everybody where they do that thing will arrange. Because that time, they will not sit up attacking those who are doing those things themselves. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.